Notion AI, how to use Notion AI for beginners, complete tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on the latest update on Notion. We have Notion AI, which allows us to access the limitless powers of an AI. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you can actually go to notion.so slash AI, or if you go to the official website of Notion, now they have their Notion AI available. So we just need to get started with this AI. It will allow us to automate our work and it has a lot of different options and tools for us. So actually, let's get into it and let's see what are the different features we are getting. So we need to try it out for free. So we're going to hit try Notion for free. So now you will just log into your Notion.so. If you do not have an account, you can create one using your email address or you can use your Google account. So I already have Notion and I have opened it up. So where we can access the AI tools and how this works is that you have your simple notion that we have. For instance, we have our team spaces here. We have different pages created. We have different projects that we're working on. And I have this task list where I want to create new tasks, but I will be using an AI to help me uh, take notes and give different commands. So first of all, let's just create a new task here. I'm going to hit new and give it like a name. So let's just call it test one click enter and a new task will be created so let's open it up once you open it up now we have different uh you know properties that we, we can add we have assignees we have statuses priorities we have due dates and created dates as well and then we have our description here in description all you need to do is just hit uh, press space for an AI or slash for the command. So that's what you need to do. So if I just hit space, it will open up the AI for me. And now we have different AI commands that we can use. We have brainstorm ideas, blog posts that we can write with an AI, outline, social media post, press release, creative story, essay, and see more. So I'm going to click on see more. And now we have a to-do list. We have pros and cons list, job description, sales email, recurring email, and more. So with the help of Notion AI, I will be able to write outlines of my task. I will be able to brainstorm ideas, write essays even, and even create to-do list for a task. So I don't need to do much now the AI will help me with all of these different tasks that we can do within our notion to take notes. So what I'm going to do is, for instance, um, I'm going to give it a command to create a, uh, let's say a blog post. So what we will do is I'm just going to hit press first and go with the blog post, write a blog post about, let's say that I actually do content creation with notion. Uh, I created a task on uh, that I will post a blog on my website. So now I want Notion to give me an idea to write the blog post for me. For instance, how to uh, write a blog post about, you will just enter your title here, how we work on other AIs. So let's say this is my topic right here. I have entered it right here and you can see it actually took one second to create this. This is actually one of the most fastest AI that I have experienced, to be honest. You can see Notion AI wrote this for me in like one second and it wrote a blog post for me. Uh, and here I have uh, all of this ready. So if we're taking notes on Notion, then I think this will come uh, really useful and we will be able to, you know, get our work done in seconds. Now we have a blog post ready. Let's say I want to go for other commands with the AI. So I will hit space now. And this time I can go with summarize, find action items, translate and explain this. So we even have a translate option where the Notion AI can translate our text into different languages. We have English, Chinese, Koreans and more. So we can do that. Let's actually convert our text into Chinese. You can see the AI is writing and it will take like few seconds to convert my text into Chinese. So this is actually really good. You can see right here how quick Notion is and it's writing and it's converting my text into another language. So we can translate with our Notion AI. Uh, and we will be able to generate content in different languages. Now we have more and more commands. With one command, we have sub commands ready. We have continue writing, make longer, try again, close or more. So for now, I'm just going to click on done. Uh, so my work is done here. Now, of course, we can customize it. We can drag and draw. We can remove any text we want to. So let's move on to some of the other commands. If I hit press, we have summarize again, explain this and more. Uh, we can write go with another command or we can 
can continue writing and we also have edit or review page option. So let's say this is the blog that I wanted to write and I wanted to write it in Chinese too. So we have a task ready. Uh, if you have any other kind of project, let's say you want to create a to-do list with the help of an AI. So I'll just go right here in this one. Uh, this is my one of my projects that I'm working on. So here what I'm going to do is hit new and we're going to again call it just like a test. Hit enter and it will open it up. So let's just do that. And again here we have our task. So uh, we can add different properties here and now we can just go here and press. So in press I'm going to click on see more and this time we're going to create a to-do list. Write a to-do list about what your to-do list should be about. So let's say I have a work meeting. So I'm going to go with a work meeting and it will create a to-do list for me. And it also depends on what kind of a task that you have created. And now you can see we have all of these to-do lists created for a work meeting. Uh, set a clear agenda for the meeting. Invite all necessary attendees, book a meeting room or a virtual conference link, prepare any necessary materials, ensure all technology, start the meeting on time, follow the agenda. This is a pretty good to-do list and I didn't have to think about it. It actually gave me a list to work on. So this is actually really impressive what Notion is doing for me. And it's actually saving a lot of time for me. And I'm getting more productive, of course, saving a lot of time and generating content uh, with an AI. So now we have a work meeting list created already. It's perfect. Uh, let's say I also wanted to create an outline for the meeting agenda that I had. So what I can do is I can again just hit, you know, press as we saw earlier and I could just click here and we can now uh, perform more, uh, you know, actions here and we can give more commands. You can even scroll down, you can see improve the writing and we can also check the spelling and grammar mistake with Notion AI. We have make shorter, make longer, change the tone, simplify language. Then we have some of the other draft AI. Again, we have brainstorm ideas, essays, and creative story. So once the command is generated, the text that you have written, you can actually do a lot with it and you can customize it. Um, we can improve the writing again. Let's say I want to make it shorter. So I'm just going to hit make shorter and it will make the, um, you know, all of this list a little shorter for me. So now you can see it's the text has been shorter and what I can do is I can just replace the selection that okay I want to go for this one. So now you can see it has been shortened for me and I can now read it easily and it has been simplified for me. So this is actually really good what AI did for me. Again now you can just open up your notion and if you used to struggle with writing blog posts, if you used to struggle with the grammar mistakes, if you when you were taking notes on notion and you were struggling with uh, creating content and you used to hover over different platforms go to google docs maybe any other ai writing ai that you were using now you don't need to do that because we have notion ai that we can use within our notion.so and it's completely free you will be able to use the command by just pressing space or slash within your task or the note that you're taking once you know how to use notion ai then it will become really easy for you and you will be able to save a lot of time and get more productive so yeah guys this brings us to the end I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.